Hey everyone, it's Tyler Bronski here. I'm joined by Troy Scribner, Los Angeles Angels pitcher, and we're here in Newtown, Connecticut at Mar Matt Barnes' annual baseball clinic. So, Troy, what's it like for you to be part of an event like this and to, you know, make these kids' days? Well, it's a privilege for me to come here and uh, put some smiles on these kids' faces, and uh, I really love coming here every year. It's a, it's a great thing. I'm glad Matt Barnes puts it together every year, and I'm, I'm happy to be a part of it. Yeah, definitely. Now, you've been in pro ball for three seasons now, I believe? Yes. Two with the Astros, one with the Angels. Right. Was pro ball always something you had a desire pursuing, or was it kind of like, okay, you know, I'm good enough to go from high school to college ball, or I'm good enough to go from now college to the pro level? So was that always something you had a desire to pursue? Yeah, absolutely. Ever since, yeah, ever since I picked up a baseball when I was real little, I've wanted to play, you know, professionally. It's always everybody's dream, especially after seeing my brother go through it and yeah. have success. It was like, yeah, absolutely, would love to do that. So, yeah, it was always on my mind. Definitely. Now, you went to Sacred Heart University, which is local here in Connecticut. Uh, you had a great career over there, great baseball program there, at a low D1 school. Um, but they're not always known for having that many guys go to pro ball, so I'm interested to hear what was your decision to choose Secret Heart c opposed to maybe other high-profile D1 colleges? Uh, well, I wasn't really heavily recruited by any of those okay. big time. I mean, I was kind of looking around pretty uh, desperately to, for a place to go to school and a place that I could play baseball at locally that I could afford, honestly. That was mm -hmm. the big thing. Oh, and, yeah. uh, you know, Sacred Heart gave me a really good opportunity to to play and I'm really glad I chose them. It was a great fit. Awesome. Now, like you just mentioned earlier, you have a brother that plays professional baseball. He's actually here at the event, Evan Scribner, yeah. with the Seattle Mariners. Um, did you guys always have like growing up like a competitive edge with each other and is it kind of cool that your brother has the same occupation as you and you can yeah. you know kind of go to him for advice on how to even get to like the highest level like the major leagues? Yeah, it's been fun uh, having him, you know, go through pretty much the same path that I've been on the last couple of years and uh, he's the best resource to have whenever there's something going on I need some advice he's always there and he knows exactly what uh, situation I'm in and all that stuff so it's been great and of course there's always competition oh, yeah. between you know brothers that's just how it is and it's been great trying to uh, push each other awesome now you're currently a starter at the AAA level with Angels I believe right can you tell the viewers out there kind of like what your pitch rep repertoire includes and like sure. uh, how would you describe yourself as a pitcher really Okay, well, uh, well, I'm by no means a hard thrower. I think okay. that uh, anybody who knows me knows that. But I, uh, I throw a, just a four-seam four fastball, uh, change-up. I have a little cutter and a curveball. Okay. And, uh, you know, with guys like me that don't throw too hard, you got to learn how to throw everything for strikes and mix it up a lot. So that's my game plan. Now, last year you had a good season at AAA and double-A. Uh, I believe pitched a 12-5 and record with a 3.68 ERA. So how close do you feel to maybe getting a shot at the major leagues in the near future? And like, what do you think you need to do to improve your game and hopefully get to that next step? Um, yeah, I mean, I definitely didn't know that I would ever be this close. Um, but uh, I think I just need to keep uh, being consistent and keep putting up good numbers Absolutely. to uh, force their hand to give me that call. Um, it's not just going to get handed to me, of course. So I'm going to have to keep uh, having success and keep showing them what I can do. Absolutely. All right, Troy, thanks so much. Appreciate You're it. Welcome. You're welcome. Thank you.